to the minds of a rebel. You are now watching what? Let's get it. After George Cambosos Bosos beat Tiafimo Lopez in a definitely a competitive scrap, causing a major upset in the boxing world, especially 135 pounds, which is a division that is becoming rather stacked you know but um you know we were all under the impression that george cambosos was just was you know he was going to be different the minute he got the belts he was gonna he wasn't gonna do what tiafimo was doing he was it was gonna be cutting you know pretty you know it was gonna be pretty much no 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 frills with this dude no games no bullshit once he won, if he beat Tio, he'd be unified. And then we can jump into this fight with Devin Haney. But as now what we're seeing, this dude, George Camboso, to me, is looking like another diva in the making, bro. Because, you know, the, the first thing I, I had noticed was when he first got the belts and he started talking about, you know, I'm in the driver's seat now. I'm like, oh, God, here we go. We're, I'm in the driver's seat now. Then Lou DeBella comes out. You know, you know, the some of the most the best fight for us right now, you know, would be Tank Davis or you know Ryan Garcia. I'm like, jeez. Oh man. And then Cambosos himself, listen to his words. You know, if he gotta show me something in that ring. He 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 gotta show me something in that ring talking about Devin Haney gotta show him something in the ring when when he was fighting Jojo Diaz. Bro, what what does he have to show you? Like, what? All right, what is it that Devin needed to show him, bro? Like, okay, did he mean he wanted to see if Devin was gonna put on a good show, where he wanted it to be competitive, if he fought Devin, or or was he gonna say, you know, well, Devin didn't look too good, so there's no need for me to fight him. So if he if Devin didn't look too good, if that was the case, why wouldn't you still fight Devin if you felt like he didn't look too good? You would just take the fight, right, and get the belt off Dev. Not making much sense. Not making much sense to me, man. And now he's talking about um, there's um you know loosely translated he has options and you know now he now he's gonna show he showed up at the Eastside Cruise Tank Davis fight I heard. Now I'm, I'm hearing he's going to the um, the Vasil Lomachenko and Richard Comey fight. So talking about like pretty much he's shopping around for his next opponent. Bruh, none of these guys, Richard Comey, Vasil Lomachenko, Javante Tank Davis, Isak Cruz, Jojo Diaz, none of them have the WBC belt. The only one that has that belt is Devin Haney, why all the obstacles all over again? It's the same divaism all over again. And I'll say this, man. You know, it's becoming it's, it's becoming pretty obvious, man, that I still see that these dudes. It does still seem like that they don't want to smoke with Devin Haney. And then you gotta ask yourself, man. After, you know, certain performances that Devin put on, why aren't these dudes chomping at the bit to fight this guy? You know, I, I, I'm, I'm still I'm still puzzled by that. You know, Ryan Garcia shouldn't even be talked about yet, man. Why not get the belt off of Devin and then talk about Ryan Garcia? Wouldn't the fight be even a little bit bigger because you have all the belts? And then you can go fight Tank or Ryan Garcia. I don't even think he want to fight Tank either. I'll be honest, you know. But it looks like those belts. I don't know. Maybe those belts are cursed, man. Maybe those one thirty five belts have a have some kind of a diva curse on them. Where once they pass on to other fighters, the fighter turns into a diva and and and, and a procrastinator. Because that's the same thing. I think Loma was doing it. Then Tio got the belts. Tio definitely was doing it. And then now Tio lost. And now Cambosos is is on his way to doing the damn same thing. We wanted it to be like, yeah, look, 
we're gonna make this fight happen right now we you know it's none of this shopping around going to look at other fighters that they fight no no you got the belt let's get it let's get it and and if you just gotta li listen to cambosos man it's a few times i heard him say if we make the fight listen man you gotta listen to these dudes man he said if we make what, what's the ifs there's no ifs no ifs ands or buts make the fight don't be a to 2.0 man the T.O. was being a T.O. became a Adrian Broner 2.0. Don't become a T.O. 2.0, Cam. You know, I was dubbing you Killer Cam. And if do I got to take that designation away from you? Because I will. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. These dudes get these belts, bro. And it's just like, God damn, bro. Make the fights. Stop me. And then, you know, lots of times it's not always the fighter. But it is for the most part. But they, they team, bro, they be, be advising them wrong and you know, take the big money fight and then they end up getting knocked out when they should have fought for the glory, man. And that I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you that's what's going to end up happening with him too. If he don't if he don't stop that diva shit, if he starts that shit and start doing it the way T.O. was doing it, he's going to get knocked out just like T.O. almost did. And then he's going to lose his belts, man. He, he letting his, his fame is already getting to George Kimbo, so he's had his... His, he winning him winning that belts is already, he's already absorbing it. I'm the man, and you know I'm in the driver's seat. Oh God, when they start talking that driver's seat shit, you already know you're gonna have so many issues before they these dudes even fight. When they start talking driver's seat, we, bro, drive your ass over to Devin Haney and fight him. That's it. I, I, I don't want to talk about this dude no more. Man, I'm sick of this shit, really am. But anyway, um. Let me know what you think about this, man. And I'm off this, man. I'll catch y'all later on the next one.